Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. My friends, it's a great time to be part of the XRP community and to be an XRP holder. There are just unprecedented moves, endless quantities of good news, despite the fact that, of course, the SEC is suing Ripple, claiming that uh, they sold XRP as an unregistered security, and that purely by the nature of it existing, that represents as much. Uh, completely absurd, of course, harming XRP holders, but even so, I'm sure you saw the news, uh, of course, by now, uh, that the attorney-client privilege um, assertions of the SEC claiming that, uh, you know, all of the emails surrounding the Billy Boy Hinman Ethereum free pass speech, attorney-client privilege, uh, judge says no. Um, and and so it's, it's just, it's been a great last couple days or so, but what I've done here is I put together a video right here for your viewing pleasure, highlighting a, just a ton of, of various topics that are just endless good news. Here, I'll tell you the topics right now. Uh, got I want to give you a quick update on Jed McCaleb, who is almost completely out of XRP. We've got Flare Network launching. That's going to be fantastic for XRP holders. Uh, additional support of XRP from BitTrue, 10 new trading pairs, uh, a continued adoption of RippleNet in, uh, in, in various corners of the world. Uh, and specifically in Morocco, there's, there's some news breaking there from Ripple, uh, which I believe, by the way, will ultimately result in on-demand liquidity being used, which does mean XRP. Uh, and then you've also got this headline from the Daily Hoddle, Ripple secures partnership to launch new NFT marketplace on the XRP ledger. So look, NFTs aren't going away, and I know we all kind of joke, and there's good reason for it, about how it's just ex overly overpriced JPEGs, which is kind of a stupid sounding thing, but... Uh, there really is something to the whole NFT thing, including just, just think about the, uh, if you're a content creator, whether it's, a, you know, it could be a blog, it could be, uh, you know, maybe you're a YouTuber, whatever, just whatever it is, there are things that you can do if you're, if you're creating content, a musician, whatever it is, you can actually um, tokenize ownership as, as an NFT. And so in terms of royal, ensuring royalties, like this is going to be fantastic and game changing for small content creators, frankly, the world over and all sorts of different product categories. And this can be adopted on the XRP ledger because gas fees are going to be effectively zero. And there's an amendment coming out, XLS 20, and we'll see if it gets adopted though. Assuming this goes well, game changer stuff. It's, we are serious in the earliest days of crypto though. It's like so obviously, but look, before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I'm not offering financial advice and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about uh, crypto related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. And so while I'm not going to go through the attorney client privilege stuff, because I already made an entire video about that literally yesterday, um, I did want to highlight this in case anybody missed the very best part. Uh, it reads as follows. This is Judge Netburn. This is what Judge Netburn wrote. It just completely shredding the SEC. And since this is a feel good video for all the good stuff happening uh, regarding XRP, I just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of this. Here's what Judge Netburn wrote The hypocrisy in arguing to the courts, on the one hand, that the speech is not relevant to the market's understanding of how or whether the SEC will regulate cryptocurrency, and on the other hand, that Hedman sought and obtained legal advice from SEC counsel in drafting a speech suggests that the SEC is adopting its litigation positions to further its desired goal and not out of a faithful allegiance to the law. I'm still floating on a cloud over that one. She's acknowledging that the SEC is not acting in good faith and literally says that what they're engaging in is hypocrisy. It's a good time, everybody. Uh, here's a quick, real quick uh, update regarding Jed McCaleb's XRP holdings. Uh, yeah, he's about to be up. If, if he sells tomorrow, he should be at zero balance. So currently he's down from, initially, mind you, 9 billion XRP is what he had. He's down to 2.2 million with an M. He sold uh, uh, today 4.2 million. So there's 2.2 million left. Presumably that's all going tomorrow. And he will be up, presumably. And I'm going to make a video. I want to break it. Down. I've got a lot to say about that, but I'm waiting for when that balance actually hits zero and then I'll share with you a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, now here's this headline. Yes, the Flare Network finally live. This is incredible. So let's talk about when you're getting your tokens too, but here's the headline. Uh, Flare finally live and open for builders, developers. Initiative starts in August. Flare Network, a high performance blockchain protocol focused on maximum cross blockchain interoperability and empowering non programmatic blockchains with smart contracts, inches closer to a full stack mainnet release. According to the official statement shared by Flare Network, 
uh, Flare Network team. Its highly, highly anticipated Genesis event took place earlier today on June 14th, 2022. And as such, all developers and researchers can start experiments with the mainnet version of Flare blockchain. In its inaugural phase, Flare Network will have its block validation process 100% controlled by Flare Foundation. So I'll just note, and this, this information was previously out there, but uh, they're basically they're going to be in what they're calling observation mode for the next eight weeks or so, uh, assuming that goes well. Uh, then after that, upon exiting observation mode, and that's when the, the network should be fully decentralized, even though it starts out as centralized, as, that's pretty much, that's the case with every crypto though, Bitcoin, XRP, they all start out like that, but then they quickly, ideally quickly become decentralized. Well, upon exiting observation mode, which again is going to be about eight weeks, we don't have a specific date, that's when the initial token distribution of 15% will take place. So you don't get all of your Spark tokens at once, but the initial 15%, you are going to have them. It'll be interesting to see how many platforms will trade that, but this is fantastic for XRP holders. I mean, you're, you're talking about smart contract um, uh, possibilities for... Uh, for a, a XRP and frankly, it depends on where they apply, but any crypto that on layer one doesn't have smart contract functionality, this enables it. You can use XRP. And there's so many reasons it makes sense for XRP. It's just blazing fast. It, you know, transactions are effectively free. Fractions of a penny is what it costs. So it's just, it seems like a no brainer. And, and so when you're looking at this and then you compare it to Ethereum, it just makes me think like, how do most people in the world of, world of crypto not even know that this exists? Like most people don't understand it. And here we are in the XRP community and we're some of the greatest beneficiaries of this, frankly. So I'm going to hold on to my Spark tokens. Some people have already said that they're going to sell them as quickly as they get them. Okay, fine. You do what you want to do. I'm going to hold on and just see what the hell happens. I don't plan on selling any of them personally. Uh, and then there is this from you today. 10 new XRP trading pairs listed as BitTrue expand support for XRP. And they are one of the, the uh, few exchanges in the United States that still continue to support XRP. So happy to share a little bit of news about them. Cryptocurrency exchange BitTrue is extending support for XRP with the listing of 10 new pairs. <coughs> XRP will act as a base pair for cryptocurrencies, Mana, Sand, Algo, BTTC, HBAR, Aave, CHZ, Dent, Ape, and AR, according to a recent tweet by the XRP Friendly Crypto Exchange. It's good to see this, but, because and, and look, I'm not mad at the cryptocurrency exchanges that, uh, you know, delisted XRP for now, halted trading. Uh, I think that they're all gonna come back once there's finality surrounding the SEC versus Ripple case, but I, still, I'm extra thankful for the ones that didn't like them and, and Uphold, for example. And there's GitHub. But uh, you just wait till it all comes back. It's just a matter of time. And I just think XRP is going to go on a freaking rip once it has regulatory certainty. Because think about that. It will be the only large cap coin on the planet that will have regulatory certainty. Not even Bitcoin technically does because there's been nothing officially declared from the SEC. Gary Gensler said his opinion about Bitcoin, but there's nothing official. XRP will be the only large cap coin on the entire planet with regulatory certainty. What do you think that's going to mean? And uh, then there's this from you today. Ripple enters Morocco through Atajara Wafa's new partnership deal. I might have said that right. Maybe not. Eh, whatever. Tomato, tomato. Ripple is expanding into Morocco as Thunes, a global cross-border payments company, has formed a strategic collaboration with Atajara Wafa Bank, one of the biggest banks in Morocco and Africa. This partnership is significant since Ripple and its remittance platform, uh, RippleNet, connects Thunes to Atajara Wafa Bank. Customers of Atajar Wafa Bank will be able to receive cross-border transfers initiated through the Thunes network more quickly thanks to the connection between RippleNet and Thunes. And so look, as terrible as it is that development of RippleNet and on-demand liquidity is absolutely quite literally at a standstill in the, in the United States, and actually customers, Ripple's actually lost customers in the United States because of this SEC action, it's been blowing up in a very positive way and getting adopted increasingly the world over. And so even though this specifically today doesn't, um, have anything to do with on-demand liquidity and thus XRP as a, as a bridge currency. These are future customers of on-demand liquidity so far as I'm concerned, because why wouldn't you? If, you know, if it's a faster solution and much cheaper, like, that's why I say like the, the tracks are getting laid here, but it just happens to be the case that in 2022, uh, there's not sufficient liquidity. And, and in some corners of the world, obviously in the United States, there isn't sufficient regulatory clarity, but this is the direction things are going. So I keep saying like, there's endless quantities of good news if you're paying attention. Uh, and then there's this, and this one could be absolutely monstrous. We'll see what happens. But uh, here's the headline from the Daily Hoddle. 
Ripple secures partnership to launch new NFT marketplace on the XRP ledger. San Francisco-based payments company Ripple is signing a new partnership involving non-fungible tokens, or NFTs for short. In a new announcement, digital assets exchange Crosstower says they are partnering with Ripple to bring XRP ledger minted NFTs to the Crosstower NFT marketplace. And here's a quote. Crosstower will facilitate minting and trading of NFTs with Ripple as blockchain partner, providing technical support on the XRP Ledger blockchain. Crosstower's marketplace makes it easy for developers and creators to onboard their projects, accelerating time to market. And so look, again, like I was saying a little bit earlier in the video, that this is exciting because, especially if you see the XLS20 amendment, uh, if that gets adopted, uh, that's a gigantic deal because it gets to the point where you're just sitting here like, okay, fine. So if, if most of the NFT action is happening on Ethereum, what's the incentive to stay there though? With gas fees being what they are and slow transaction times, like what's the actual incentive? And so it seems to me that there's a, a number of uh, operators in the world of NFTs just in a general sense. And it does seem that XRP Ledger is getting a pretty strong look here. So we shall see what happens. Let's, I'll go ahead and wrap up there. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. So that would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon Lambo.